female opponent. And so if you're going to do that, if that's your strategy, disinformation um, becomes incredibly important. Muddying the waters, having people not know their own heads anymore becomes incredibly important. But I think it becomes all the more important to tell people when those waters are so muddy, when they are hearing that votes may not be counted, that this is not to be confused with the idea that they don't have power. Right. This is if you look at other countries that have gone through this and um, your father worked so much on countries that had these kinds of pretender leaders trying to do these kinds of shenanigans. If you have this kind of moment, people have more power than they ever have had before. And the people who have the most power now in this election are apolitical people, people who have not voted, people who've passed up the opportunity to vote for five, 10, 20, 30 years. There's many of those people in our country. And those folks, the people who feel like maybe both parties are kind of corrupt, maybe who feel like politics doesn't really affect them, people who feel like it's all a, a, a game for the moneyed. And there's truth in a lot of those feelings. Those people, I want to say to you, you have tremendous power to cut through this disinformation and assert your power to choose a destiny in which women are not getting forced uh, hysterectomies in concentration camps, in which uh, young kids are not waiting in line for food banks instead of going to school. You have more power than you have ever had uh, in any election. Professor Greer, as you want. So, what he said earlier in this video, he's pretty much describing who I was not too long ago. I would say five years ago. A long time ago, maybe 15, 10, 15 years ago, maybe more than that, I established that politics in the United States were just, it's a circus. I didn't grow up in a political family, and I certainly wasn't political. In fact, I didn't even watch a lot of news. So, outside of the major events that are so big that they permeate through everywhere, everyone's talking about it. Um, or I may randomly run into stuff online. There was a time where I was on Facebook or whatever, or you know how things work. You're on the internet, you know, things pop up. But I wasn't consuming media on a regular basis at all. You know, checking the news. I mean, even the 